Hello internet friends, it's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you another Tech Tip Tuesday video in Chief Architect and this time I'm in Premiere version X15 uh, still the beta version but I'll show you what we got going on. I'm working on roof framing you'll notice how this beam is not lining up in the pitch that I want so that's what I want to talk about today let's get started I was struggling with this beam and it was not playing the way, same way that this beam over here was working on. I'm looking at the back side of this so this beam here is really the left in my plan view and here's the right over here. You'll notice when I select this beam and move it, I'm going to center it on this rafter uh, roof plane and then center it back on this beam in the front and it stays where in the pitch where I wanted it. This beam does not do that so typically as I as I showed before so what I've got is let, let's back up let's back up a little bit here right I've got a shed dormer essentially to create a walkout balcony in this office above here so I'm trying to draw the beam that's going to go through here and support this shed dormer back to plan view I'm going to draw the beam here and you'll notice it's in the correct pitch. You will just pull it back to the wall and I'm going to center it on this beam in the front. And when I do that, it then takes on the pitch of the shed dormer. This side did not do that. So, how can we make it work the way we want to? I'm going to open the beam specification dialog and uncheck automatic height. Now it's manually entered. It, it took the automatic information and, and made it into a manual um, scenario. Now when I center it on the beam in front, it keeps the pitch the way that I want to do. So uh, most of the time, or at least 50% of the time in this model, uh, drawing the beam in the pitch roof that you want and then sent, moving it into place worked. Uh, on this side, that technique did not work, so I had to change it to automatic height. I want to try a couple of other options in this video here and see if this works. I'm going to select, draw the beam in the pitch, and then I'm going to move it point-to-point point move where I want it and no that did not work either undo let's grab this I'm going to control move it over here drop it interesting that worked control move worked but if I adjust it at all fine-tune. Ah, now I can point-to-point point move. And even center it on the beam. So that's an interesting thought. You can control, control drag, and it will, uh, it will keep, maintain its, maintain its proper angle. I don't know if that's intentional, but, uh, that's, that is what works. So, uh, there you have it. Thanks so much for following along. If you like this information, please click like and subscribe right down there. Hit the notification bell and you'll get notified each week as I drop these videos. Take care.